Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Euro 2024 and Copa America have been giving us some insane knockout football games to be watching recently with a lot of penalties and extra time and all of that. But some of the knockouts content on FC24 doesn't seem to live up to that sort of hype. Now, one of the player SBCs that we had yesterday was amazing, and I want to talk about that. But there's one specific SBC that if, if it only was just a little bit better, things could be better for this game, and it's going to impact us for the next week. I want to talk about that, the standard of content that EA is setting, that they kind of just lowered the bar on a little bit, and look forward to today on Sunday where we might get another icon player pick Will it include those icons? Great to the game team two that just went out of packs. That would be insane. We got to talk about that today. If you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new. Let's go over yesterday's Saturday content. Like I said, there were some good things. There were some not so good things. And let's look at one of the evolutions that was dropped yesterday. We had a Festival of Football Glow Up 2. We already have one of these. Here's another one with some different playstyle pluses given out here. And you know what? This is one of those evos that if you have somebody that fits it, that looks really good to you, especially if it's national team based, go ahead and get the evolution done. I'm looking for a USA card that I know looks really cracked in this evo. Brendan Aronson, I heard, looks really good in this evolution, but it does cost you some coins. Um, and you know, it, it's a little bit of a grind for a silver card that you like at this stage of the game. Is it really worth it? Again, I mean, it's actually not that much of a grind. Play two, play two, play two. I mean, that's actually really easy, to be completely honest. And the cards that you do get, you get five-star, five-star here on the Aronson. Ariel won't be great for him, but Quick Step, Tiki Taka, and Trivella. Good play styles. Does it give play styles regulars too? It does. It gives Energizer, Rapid, I think, Pink Pass, Slide Tackle. All right, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting there. So I don't know if you want to do a midfielder. I don't know if you want to do a defender. I know this Wang We Joe card looks pretty cracked too. A lot of high 90 stats and you get four play style pluses. So pick a good card that you're interested in if you want to spend the coins on a Joao Pedro. I think Zyar Emery looks like a really good card in there as well. Furpo looks decent, Rico Lewis, Matisse Tell. Find somebody, if you want to spend 125,000 coins on it, find somebody who's emotional for you, your uh, nation, who you're supporting right now, maybe building a one-nation side, maybe even a player for the Brazil Weekend League if you're going for that, or for the Cup, right? Something like that you could do too. That's an Evo that's just kind of there, not crazy, but there are some nice cards that come with it. Now let's go to the SBCs with the content is really expected to be more. And I'll be honest, guys, the SBCs that I saw yesterday at Content Drop, I was absolutely shocked and I was so confused when I saw this showdown between Jack Grealish and Jordan Henderson because we've been talking about showdowns. We were wanting showdowns for the Euros and for the Copa America, and we here get a showdown for two English players for a FC Pro World Championship Finals event. Uh, Tex getting Grealish, and then um, Max is representing Ajax. He gets Jordan Henderson. So I was so, so confused when I saw two English players. And I was like, wait, what is going on? Well, that's because it's for a pro FIFA event. So both these SBCs, if you were looking to use a Jack Grealish or a Jordan Henderson in this game, are very cheap. Henderson's 40,000 coins. He does have the Anticipate Plus and the Long Ball Plus. Solid card, I guess you could say there. Grealish has got Trickster and Finesse Plus with Press Proven, and he's 4-4. Four, four. But he's also only 60,000 coins, but it's only an upgrade for the pro event, so they do not upgrade for any of the England games or anything like that. Again, that's what we've been accustomed to with the showdowns, but EA went a completely different route. So again, I saw that yesterday, and I'm sure some of you guys saw that too, and you were just like, what? Like those? Are, we want different showdowns right now, okay? We have semi-final matchups set for Euros and Copa America. Those are the sorts of showdowns that we want to see. Anyways, there was a good player SBC yesterday because it's bringing back a FIFA legend, and he got an upgrade as well. Wout Weghorst, six foot six, high high work rates, four star, five star. He is the king of crosses. The showdown card from what was it? FIFA 22, and then he had another one last year in 23. I think it was. They were just so overpowered and so meta. This guy just kind of has that aura, and there's a lot of hype and anticipation around his special cards that he gets. I didn't know that he was at Burnley, to be completely honest, but that even helps this card, I think, be a little bit better for linking in squads. He's got First Touch, Aerial, Rapid, and Power Shot Plus. First Touch Plus was actually just added to this card as he was upgraded for the Netherlands win. He got that Playstyle Plus, 
and bro got a plus one finesse regular he's got chip shot regular ping pass and he's got power header regular as well as trivella he is going to be a force to be reckoned with in the air that is what this card is at 380,000 coins you are getting yourselves a massively overpowered striker who's going to just blast the back of the net with power shots he's going to run in behind being controlled lengthy with 97 sprint speed and rapid plus and he has aerial plus at six foot six it is going to be crosses whipped pass crosses from your outside backs to a slam dunk header goal or a power shot goal from this white horse 99 composure 99 reactions and his physical look at those 98 98 99 strength 99 aggression and 99 heading with power header and aerial he's gonna be a broken card i cannot wait to get my hands on him this is honestly the opposite of diogo jota right diogo jota no upgrade for him price a little bit expensive Kind of like a lot of people are not doing that SBC. Wild Wakehorse just got a plus one and a playstyle plus. Price is amazing. Hype is there. We love it. It's the exact opposite of Jota, to be completely honest. So this was the best SBC of content yesterday, in my opinion. I will be completing his card. He still has more upgrade potential as well. If Netherlands win their semifinal game, he would not only... Um, Look, be as insane as he is right now i think he would actually get a five star skill move boost so he wouldn't get a rating boost because it says here it's plus one overall or five star five star and since he does not have five five i don't think he would get the plus one he would just get that five star skill move boost so if the netherlands would go on to win the euros though he would be 97 rated and five star five star but i mean this card for even right now in this game is unbelievable so we love that right but that's enough about wild wake horse let's talk about the upgrade packs this is where it goes a little bit downhill and this is the sbc that i think just needed to be better guys because we've gone from the 84 times 10 three times repeatable per day to the 85 times five three times repeatable per day to the 86 double upgrade this sbc just honestly hurts the vibes and the craftability of the menus because you're getting way less players it's an 85 rated squad which is the same price minus a team of the week or a team of the season from the 85 times five but you're only getting two players back and the weight on these really just hasn't seemed good we've had the 86 double multiple times and it just has a wrap for not being as good in terms of the fodder that you get right it's important for an upgrade pack like this that we get every single saturday to give you multiple different players like four five six types of players from the pack right so that you get more chances at more fodder to put into 83 plus team of the week picks or other player sbcs or most importantly exchanges where you can get those commons and rares to put back into whatever upgrade pack you choose to grind that is why this upgrade sbc needed to be better and it's really just kind of killing the hype and i also think there's another bigger issue here that we kind of have to, to uh, talk about because these saturday upgrade packs if you take a step back and look at an 86 double upgrade that the fact that we have a three times repeatable upgrade pack even like the ones that we've had the past couple of weeks like the 85 5 and the 84 times 10 that's actually honestly really insane content if you compare that to the past and other spcs that we have gotten this is really really good content and we've had this for like what since team of the year or somewhere around there we started getting these saturday upgrade spcs but um I just think that EA has raised the content level so high from what we used to have. Like when an 86 double used to be really, really cool and we used to be a huge fan of that. They've raised the content level so up so, up so much with the 85.5 and the 84 times 10 that when we see one like this that is still good overall, but it's not as good as what we have had. And since what we have had with those 85.5s, 84.10s have been pretty consistent too, you just get a little more disappointed for a piece of content that's already good, but you know still how it could be better. And I think that's an issue we're seeing across this whole entire game, especially this year of FC24. The content is honestly crazier than it has ever been. And if you don't believe me, like just look back to previous years. It is way crazier. There's way more players, upgrade packs, and all of that. The exchanges, it is technically better than it has ever been, but also we keep expecting more because ea keep raising the bar that's a bigger conversation i think for the end of this year as we look into fc 25 as well and let me know your thoughts down below but really with an 86 double it just does hurt the craftability of the menus which was already hurt by a lot of people getting the crafting objective done which i have 10 more to do and then the 81 plus player pick being here instead of the 82 plus so we have high expectations because 
EA have hit those expectations before, and now that it feels like it's literally being under delivered. So that's kind of my feeling on the 86 double. I mean, yeah, if you're going to grind the menus, is it still worth doing? Yeah, it is because you could get a PTG card. You could get a re-release PTG card. So I think it's worth doing, but it's a little unfortunate for the craftability of the rest of the menus. The 84 times 10 best of nations upgrade is basically the re-released SBC from last week on Saturday as well. It's an 84 with a team of the week or a team of the season. So GG's, if you did a lot of grinding last week, you have some team of the week stocked up in your club, you're good to go for that one. And that one is a must do 100%, but it's only one time we take those. That's, I guess, what we'll say about that. Now, one thing more about packs, uh, I have 55 of them right now. It's so many exchanges from the greats of the game um, I wasn't doing an SBC. I was just pouring it into exchanges with a high rated fodder. I didn't do Kafu. I didn't do Rooney, which I'm glad that I didn't. Um, and I also opened another store pack. Um, not yesterday, but on Friday, I opened the 575. I'm wishing that I would have never done that because number one, it didn't work out for me. And number two, this one's only 75,000 coins more and you get two guaranteed PTGs, 195 or above, and it's an 86 times 25. So um, that's a decent 650K pack compared to the one that we had during the great to the game promo. I have not seen any of these opened, but I do believe that is one of the reasons why the market is dropping in some areas as it is right now. I might open that during the week this week. I might not. We'll just have to see. But let's talk about the next thing, upgrades. They just dropped and wow, the upgrades that, that just happened are actually pretty sick. Uh, we got the English upgrades, right? Because England are advancing. The Netherlands are advancing as well. So we got some really insane upgrades, but we also got some really good upgrades on individuals for the Make Your Mark cards, namely Arda Guler. And he absolutely has been cooking. I really hope Arda Guler gets a team of the tournament card. He deserves one. I don't know if this one's going to end up being better. He got that 97 rated boost. He got plus one across the board. What a card, man. What an SBC. Some of the Make Your Mark SBCs have actually turned out to be really, really insane items. Uh, Javi Simons as well for the Netherlands getting a plus one overall, straight up plus one across the board. So he is fully upgraded. Arda Guler is fully upgraded, and so is VVD. We have our second 99 rated card in the game with Virgil van Dijk getting that plus two as well. Now, for some of the England cards, I did want to point out, we mentioned yesterday that like um, they gave John Stones four play style pluses but they didn't say anything about his upgrade like they did with Kamavinga because technically the English cards had not earned the fourth place style plus because yesterday's game was their third win in the Euros outright win. So he should have started with three play style pluses and got the fourth. Well, that is what happened to Watkins. Ali Watkins started with three play style pluses and he got the fourth added on. But for Stones, they didn't give him a double upgrade like they did to Kamavinga. So... I guess Kamavinga is the only one who benefits from this situation and nobody else does. I'm really confused. And I guess it's because since they upgraded guys like Kyle Walker and Pickford and um, Joe Gomez the other time, incidentally, and they gave that extra place that plus early, I guess that's why they didn't do another double upgrade here and like double mistake on those cards sort of situation. I'm guessing that's why they did that. Now, I do want to draw your attention to Joe Gomez, and I just double checked this in game, and it looks like uh, that is factual. Um, Joe Gomez was supposed to go up plus one because, of course, uh, the England PTGs won, and that's a plus one for this game, right? The quarterfinal win was an automatic plus one, and I just checked my club, and Joe Gomez is a 96 rated. He got a plus one, but his stats didn't move, so there's a little bit of a mistake there. Hopefully, they give him the stat boost that he deserves, but it looks like all the other upgrades went through correctly i think there's just so many to keep track of um delict got slide tackle plus that's a little bit mid depai this is a big one from the season pass he got incisive uh pass plus but man look at that card for a seasonal item 97 rated version for him Saka's up plus one stones plus one the young got a plus one as well uh Saka got plus two defending on a 2.9 million coin card now what a card that is. Watkins, as I mentioned, he got Relentless Plus. Not sure about that playstyle plus addition there. And then they did upgrade Casillas. I mentioned Casillas in yesterday's video. He actually was not upgraded fully, um, and he should have been. But uh, he finally got that upgrade there. They gave Rykard a playstyle plus of Tiki Taka Plus, and they gave out some 99 stats to Cruyff, Hullet, and Seedorf, which was 
uh, passing for both Hullet and Seedorf and shooting for Cruyff. So that Cruyff card is bananas, and that is why he's up in price for sure uh, at 9.4 million coins. That is pretty crazy. So those are the upgrades that we have there, but there are more upgrades coming today because we have Copa America upgrades incoming for Luis Diaz because Colombia absolutely cooked. Here's what I'm saying to EA Sports about Colombia, man. We need somehow to get a James Rodriguez cards in this game, all right? Because he deserves a special. He deserves a team in the tournament. He's been absolutely cooking. That would also be a very nostalgic card, but he's not added into the game, so I doubt that that's happening. Also, Araujo, Bentancur, Pelestri, Jimenez, all the Uruguayan uh, PTGs are going to get a plus one as well because they beat Brazil on penalties and that is what it took for them to get on to the next round so benton core it's going to be a 97 rated araujo again looking like one of the better sbcs and i missed out i'm very very upset about that but i did miss out on araujo but you guys that did him are going to get a plus one today as well and i will say one thing about darwin nunez a lot of people asking questions when does Darwin go to a 98 all he has to do is appear in a semi-final game that they will be playing and Darwin Nunez will be going to a 98 rated card. So that's pretty easy. That's going to be awesome when that game happens. I think on Tuesday or Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday, I believe they play and he'll get upgraded after that. Now, the big sad part about all that, though, for the Copa America is that Brazil are out. So no more Cafu upgrades. Uh, the one thing I just noticed and I'm so confused by is how much is Zico right now? Zico is 1.3 million coins. This card is dropping in price. He's down 200k since the full-time whistle of this game. He's been between 1.4 and 1.55, right? I bought one of these at 1.42 on Friday. I still have it. And now bro is down like 150 to 200k for no reason. Because this card was fully upgraded. All of the Brazilian icons besides Cafu were fully upgraded from that first Brazil knockout game. And all of a sudden now these cards are crashing. Um, I don't understand what is going on here. I don't know why there's panic sale. Like if I can get a Zico under 1.3, I'm going to buy another one because he should bounce back up. And Roberto Carlos is down too. Cause he was like 950 K and he's like 830 at the moment. I think that's 835. If I see 800 K, oh my gosh, man, that's so low. Like there's literally no reason that he should be this cheap because Brazil, like them going out of the tournament doesn't mean that he's losing out on any upgrades since he was fully upgraded. So, hey, take advantage of some of that if you're seeing some price swings on the market. But let's talk a little bit more about some price swings, especially on the uh, PTG Team 2 cards and the icons. I'm going to look at that here in a second. As expected, a lot of these cards are down further. Shalhanoglu out of the tournament, right? Great run from Turkey, eh? but that card's still cracked. Don't get me wrong, but 590,000 coins, he's down a lot. Havertz is one that I'm super interested in, and I haven't looked at his uh, price, but I know he's really rare. He continues to drop. Yeah, he was like 3, 3 million, 2.6 million dropping, down to 2.2, went back to 2.8. Okay, so that's a type of card you want to be watching out for some quick flip trades. But overall, it just looks like most of these cards are still kind of slowly dipping. I would say as well, though, like for Stones. Stones has some crazy fluctuations because he's really rare. And I think a lot of people want to use this card. You can trade with the fluctuations on these for sure. If I can pick up a Stones in the 1-4 range... I think I will tonight because I think he might, with his upgrade, people might be waking up today and want to use this card and maybe he goes back to like 1.6 or close to 1.7. I don't know, but he's one that seems to have some pretty good fluctuations. So I think most of these cards should keep dropping, especially the ones that are out. Uh, so I'd be really careful with that. Like, I mean, look at it, Douglas Louise. He was 600K. Now he's 381. I mean, without playing any games, La Celso has gone from 300K last night when I looked at him to 228 now. So I think that most of these cards will continue to dip and probably the ones that are in packs as well. Pedri's 480, right? He, what was he last night on the video? Like 580 after he, um, he got the upgrade and Spain had all the hype, right? So selling these cards is probably the best way to do it at the moment. And even some of the greats of the game, besides the Brazilians, have dropped. Vieira, Zidane, Thierry Henry, they're kind of low at the moment too. But some of the cheaper ones are still doing great. Zanetti, still in the tournament, right? Argentina, still cooking. He's 196,000 coins. Uh, the Del Piero's that I bought for 350, like he was 410, 420. Now he's like 385. Charlton is down because England didn't score any goals. So, well, well, I guess I scored a one, right? But I don't think Charlton, now Charlton didn't get any upgrades. So 
there's that. Um, no upgrades for him. That's a bit unfortunate. And then his price isn't really going up. I mean, England are still in it, but his price is down because, well, makes sense. No upgrades for him. So I would just be careful with the market. I think with the menus losing a little bit of hype and with the team and packs maybe a being a little bit less hype right now as well, I think I'd be a little more careful. Seems like even some of the prices are losing a little bit of hype at the moment and people are maybe spending a little bit less just because of where the game is technically at at the moment. Now, let's talk about what could change that today. Sunday content, always Sundays. We think of icon picks and hero picks. I think EA know that hero picks are just out of the question at this point. And this 91 icon pick was the same one that we had the week before last Sunday. My question is today, EA Sports, can you please remove um maybe team of the years or maybe ultimate birthday cards there's still some good icons from both team of the year and ultimate birthday but let's take out team of the years and let's introduce like uh fantasy icons and and also do great to the game team one and great to the game team two they got to include some of the other icons in there from older promos they always do i mean i guess they wouldn't have to but they're going to so i hope they add in team two of great to the game though guys can you imagine these cards it just left packs with how much hype there were there having another chance to get one of those from an icon player pick would be phenomenal so if that's going to happen you know what's going to move right sbc fodder is going to move depending on the price of that sbc which to get maybe a bit of a guess on how much that might cost this one's an 87 80 and a 90 rated squad if they're going to add some of those bigger tier uh higher ticket priced items Maybe you do see another 90 rated squad or maybe it's a four squad icon player pick. It might be a bit pricey. And in that case, what's going to move? Probably I would watch like 91s. Again, 91s are still like the same price as 89s. Those could move. I would watch 88s as well because anytime we have 88 rated and above SPCs, a lot of people are buying 88s to finish off those squads because they have 93 94 rated cards they're packing as duplicates from what's in packs right now right and when you're above the rating that much you don't have to use this higher rated fodder to fill in the rest of the team so i would watch that uh, part of the market today depending on how good this icon player pick is if it's crazy you could see some of that fodder moving up now player sbcs there's still a sandro martinez he's out there somewhere he's floating around in leak world and he hasn't been dropped in the game yet. When is he going to be dropped is the question. I also have a really big question. Are they going to drop Zakaria after Switzerland are out of the tournament or are they not going to drop it, right? That's the two questions I have is, are they going to continue to release these players? And I mean, again, are they going to release them too in a mini release? Like, I don't know what they're going to do with the SBC versus the mini release ratio here because we have Gallagher, we have Zakaria, we have Taram, Martinez, and Sarmiento. And, um, Ecuador is out of the tournament as well. So same situation with them. But for Martinez and probably Gallagher, and then I would say Taram as well, there's still a lot of questions and maybe a little bit of hype there for those cards. Maybe they're going to be SBCs. But again, like I said, they got to kind of get them out in the game here pretty soon before these next games happen. I know the upgrades are applied retroactively, but um, like before a team goes out, you want the card to be released in the game or else there's like literally no hype. So... I hope they release Lissandro Martinez today. That would be awesome. I would watch out for the leaks ahead of time. This is going to be an SBC that will have a lot of hype because of the player. We'll just have to see how much EA boost his card up and what positions they give him. Maybe they give him like CDM alternate or maybe a right back or a left back. They got to give him a big pace boost and they got to give him a lot of play styles, right? Four play style pluses for sure. And that could be a really crack card. So I'm excited to see what happens with that one today, but I'm also just uh, not entirely sure what's going to happen. And I need to work through a few of these packs that I have to open as well. I'm not sure there's going to be a stream today, guys. One of my uh, brothers is in town from out of town, and I want to make sure I spend some time with him. But also I'm going away later on this week on a bit of a trip. So I yeah, we're going to have to figure that out if we're going to be able to stream today. I will be streaming tomorrow on Monday, and there will be a video, as always, keeping the street going. But I just want to let you guys know uh, because uh, we may not be on today. We might. I'm still undecided. So if you see me, you'll see me. But I'll see you in the next YouTube video. If you enjoyed this video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. And I will catch you guys in a video tomorrow. It's been Nathan from Account. See you there. Peace. Out.